Did you know that Sweden for the first time since 1939 violated its policy of not sending weapons to nations engaged in active hostilities? Due to a surge in support for membership following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Sweden and its neighbor Finland jointly applied to join NATO in May, breaking decades of military non-alignment. Now, Sweden's government has donated further defense weapons to Ukraine. This weaponry includes several Robot-17 missile systems, the AG-90 automatic rifle and ammunition, and 5,000 armored shots 86. But how can Swedish RBS-17 anti-ship missiles help Ukraine? Well, since the Swedish government published an additional amending budget on June 2, 2022, Sweden would certainly give Ukraine financial aid and military hardware. As part of the revised package, the RBS-17 short-range anti-ship missile was added. It should be noted that Sweden is however outfitted with more potent RBS-17 land-based anti-ship systems. With the assistance of Deal BGT Defense, the RBS-17 is an anti-ship missile with a ground strike capability that has been carefully refined to offer you the advantage you need to win in increasingly complicated war scenarios. The RBS-17 missile system, a manpack anti-ship variant of the AGM-114C Hellfire, was the most major supply of Sweden to the Ukrainian armed forces. The RBS-17 missiles were a particular request from the Ukrainian government. According to the Swedish ministers, earlier this spring, Sweden also contributed $52.4 million to the Ukrainian central bank's budget to support the armed forces. Additionally, the Swedish government is proposing that Sweden donate $60 million more to the fund. The recommendations call for an increase in allocated funding for the central government budget of $105 million in 2022. The Swedish Amphibious Brigade employs the RBS-17 laser-guided missile system to make it harder for the adversary to enter Swedish ports or ships. The technology can be used from shore to deploy on ships and other floating or stationary objects with high precision. The missile's target can be illuminated by the amphibious units using a laser designator. The RBS-17 missiles have an 8-kilometer range and a warhead that weighs 9 kilograms. The missile measures 163 centimeters in length and 17.8 centimeters in diameter. RBS-17 is not the first missile system to be transferred. It has joined the UK-provided brimstone-guided missiles that were already in use. According to other reports, the United States has reportedly thought of supplying Ukraine with coastal missile systems like the Harpoon or NSM. Even though the Ukrainian forces' missile inventory has grown, the additional missiles don't seem to have much of an impact considering the RBS-17's standalone field range. Air forces frequently employ Hellfire missiles to destroy smaller jets with weaker air defenses. For naval warfare, an 8 km deployment range is quite short and has no deterring impact on the opposing forces. Robot-17 missiles, on the other hand, ought to be taken into account as a component of Ogisa's multi-layered defense against the Russian Black Sea Fleet. The U.S. has been preparing to supply Harpoon anti-ship missiles with an operating range of 75 nautical miles, in addition to Ukraine's Neptune anti-ship missiles, which sank the Russian Black Sea Fleet's flagship Moskva. These two missiles can engage Russian units at a great distance, whilst Brimstone missiles launched by the UK can fight enemy units at a medium distance. Now, due to minimum range restrictions, Harpoon and Neptune missiles are unable to engage a ship at such close range. Therefore, RBS-17 missiles can fill the gap and fight the adversary at point-blank range. As a result, Ukraine can use the Neptune, Harpoon, Brimstone, and RBS-17 to create an A2AD bubble, or anti-access area denial spanning several layers. It has been discussed since the beginning of the war that an amphibious assault with Robot-17 missiles can be effective against enemy surface targets. Because as I mentioned earlier that amphibious operations are not an easy choice for Russia, and the loss of significant surface resources has reduced this possibility, it is not reasonable to claim that the threat of an amphibious assault on the Odessa coast is over. The Robot-17 missiles in this scenario might result in significant casualties for Russia during an amphibious assault. Of course, using these missiles will provide some difficulties. Ukraine doesn't have much time to prepare its crew for using this equipment in operation. 
The Ukrainian armed forces now possess two additional modern missile systems, Brimstone and Robot-17, despite some concerns regarding how Ukraine will train people to utilize land-based harpoon missiles in combat situations. On the other hand, due to its extensive usage of anti-tank weaponry in combat and the destruction of numerous Russian armored vehicles with rented anti-tank missiles like Javelin and Enlaw, Ukraine's military may be better able to employ the RBS-17 anti-tank missile system. Additionally, while having a wide variety of missiles improves firepower and makes it difficult for the adversary to construct defenses against incoming missiles, it can cause some logistical problems if the fight lasts longer than anticipated. It is, however, not certain whether Ukraine can train competent maintenance personnel during a war because system maintenance demands a higher skilled workforce than missile operational usage. The A2AD zone must be maintained at all times to maintain the missiles. As I said earlier, the RBA-17 is a Swedish adaptation of the AGM-114 Hellfire missile. The modification was carried out by Bofors. It can be easily fired from naval vessels or a firing position on the ground and has been modified for anti-ship use. The AGM-114 Hellfire missile was made to outperform armored cars at a distance. Ukraine expressly requested naval missile robots. Robot 17 is a powerful technology that will strengthen Ukraine's capacity to repel Russia's illegal unprovoked invasion. It will be critical to the defense of Ukraine. The technology as a whole is extremely adaptable and will fill a void in the Coast Guard. The landing craft fire as they approach the shore. The weapons system can make a difference, especially in Odessa. It is excellent for defending and making Odessa safer. All right, guys, that's all for today. What else do you know about the RBS-17? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as well.